Welcome, members of the CIA. That's not the Central Intelligence Agency, but the Crazy Italian Army. Welcome. This is your fearless leader, the Crazy Italian, and we're doing a little Bloodborne video today where I'm going to show you how to get Garman, the final boss's um, weapon. It's called the Burial Blade, and I'm going to show you how to get it early before you go into New Game Plus, which is where most people would get it. But if you follow my instructions... Um, you'll be able to get it right before New Game Plus, where you, so you'll be able to use it to um, do some PvP or um, go uh, explore the Chalice Dungeons or just go back through different sections of the game to get extra Blood Echoes to level up, whatever you want to do with it. Um, the first thing you're going to do is walk down the path away from the burning uh, mansion when you're ready to fight the final boss, Garman. And you're going to go um, up the hill, through the gate and up the hill to where you'll see German in his um, wheelchair. And then you're going to go through all his dialogue. And at one point, it's, um, well, before you, before you talk to him, you should use um, three items that you collect during the game called the, the each one's called one third of umbilical cord. And the, you can obtain four of them. I got four of them, so I used I did it by I'm um, using all four of them. But you only really need three of them, and use three of them. That will give you the true ending of the game, which means you'll get a secret boss after the final boss of Garman, the first hunter. You will get the secret boss of um, this is a spoiler now, so don't listen if you don't want to know. Of um, the name of the boss is um, Moon Presence. So anyway, so you're going to be talking to Garman before, and uh, it'll give you the, some dialogue choices to um, either um, submit your life, which will make the game, I think, just go into New Game Plus, or you can refuse. You want to choose refuse uh, in that when you get that dialogue choice, and then it will start the fight, the boss fight with Garman. And um, then once you defeat Garman, it's going to um, give you a cutscene and introduce you to the Moon Presence boss. And you should get some Blood Echoes when you fight Garman. Unfortunately, when I fought him, it, it, there was a glitch or something and it didn't give me any Blood Echoes. So um, that's why I'm doing this like post-commentary. And anyway, you'll see what happens. Um, but um, anyway, so as soon as you start, the boss battle f begins with the secret boss, Moon Presence. You're going to use an item called the Bold Hunter's Mark, which will teleport you out of the boss fight arena back into the main section of the Hunter's Dream. And uh, you'll have your Blood Echoes that you got from fighting Garman. And then you can go to the... Um, to the store there in the hunter's dream and purchase the burial blade and so now i'll take you to some uh what uh, some new footage that i'm going to record just specifically for this where i'm going to buy the um burial blade and then show you its move set so um thanks for watching hope you enjoy the rest of the video and i'll see you then well, welcome back youtube we're gonna continue the uh, video now with the little new footage we're going to come over here and we're in the hunter's dream and we're going to come over here to the bath messenger and we're going to purchase the burial blade there's the burial blade it's costs 60,000 blood echoes and as you can see i have enough um, from fighting the uh Final boss, Garman, whose weapon is the Burial Blade. Garman, the first hunter, and Moon Presence. Um, that was the uh, secret secret boss. Okay, so we're going to purchase that. Well, before we purchase it, just let me show you a little about it. 
it requires a 10 strength, a 12 skill, and it scales E in strength, C in skill, and D in arcane. I've heard that the, uh, the damage bonuses due to the uh, strength and the arcane aren't that great, but so you want to probably up your skill rating if you're going to use this weapon. Um, the description says Trickwell weapon wielded by Garman the first hunter a masterpiece that defined the entire array of weapons created at the workshop its blade is forged with side right said to have fallen from the heavens Garman surely saw the hunt as a dirge of farewell wishing only that his prey might rest in peace never again to awaken to another harrowing nightmare he calls it a nightmare anyway Anyway, let's go ahead and purchase it. And, um, and we'll, uh, come over here. And equip the weapon. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. So it's a uh, curved sword as you can see, or the um, transformed version is the scythe. Um, pretty wicked looking. So in the uh, curved sword form, um, R1 looks like this. Or uh, I'll face the camera now so you can see it from this direction. This is what the enemy sees. Okay. And then um, R2, let's get facing the camera. R2 is an overhead smash. And then we'll do a charged R2. It's a, like a sideways slash. Let's do it this way. So you can see it again, a sideways slash. Okay, then, um, well, let's do a step and and an R1 or a dash in an R1 dash in R1 or let's try a uh, roll in an R1 okay now let's switch back to the um, the scythe version take a look at it there's its R1 and here's its R2 and charged R2, he kind of pulls it behind his back there. Okay, let's do it facing the camera. R1 and R2 and charged R2. Okay, um, then let's do the um, step R R1. Let's do the uh, step R2 sideways slash dash and our R1 dash in R2 is an overhead. Let's do it this way. Dash in R2. And uh, a roll and an R2. So sideways. Okay. Well, that's pretty much the uh, move set for the burial blade. And. Um, We're by, we're kind of glitching out there up next to the wall. Looks cool, doesn't it? Like you're behind the, by the, behind the shrub wall there. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the um, video on how to get the burial blade a little early. Enjoy it. And um, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with your fellow gamers, friends, family, and followers. I'd appreciate it. Catch you in the next video. Hopefully it won't be as long between videos um, this time as it was in the recent past. Um, I'm going to probably try to do some Dark Souls 3 DLC called The Ring City next. So stay tuned.